Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry, I was just adjusting my headset. I didn't have it on mute. I do apologize. Welcome to today's live stream on Twitch. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope everyone's doing well. Everyone that just popped past my Twitch channel right then. Thank you for joining. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Now, if you're watching me live right now, my Twitch channel, I want to say hi, how you doing? And thank you for showing I'm going good today. But if you couldn't make it to today's live stream and you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, once again, hi, how's your dog? And thank you for watching. Now, this stream is proudly sponsored by, supported by, and supplied by the amazing people at Red Art Games. Check them out, guys. Red Art Games. This game's called Scortford Into the Fray. Now, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but I'm going with Scortford. Sounds good to me. So you blast, kick, and dash your way through rebels and enrich the creatures to eliminate the Isle of Portland before it's consumed by fog and the horrors of Theron. Players one of the impressive aliens five knights investigating reports of a rebellious faction and missing royal. Will you manage to ward off the frog? Not frog, fog, fog. Hey Jericho, welcome to the stream, my friend. Okay, into the phrase a fast action shooter in the vein of Doom and Dark Messiah. The focus is on fast, bloody combat with satisfying feedback and environmentally reactive in a dark, low love creation story of civil strife. Into the Fray is part of the Scortford series and follows an upper and shredder in insanity, but can be played on its own. So the story of the game, the story is set in 1899 in the island of Portland. Take control of Hitto, third knight of the Empire, to investigate a missing royal and rebellious faction called the Sons of Washington. Beware the descending fog and lead the islands to fending off rebels and their rich allies. Now the gameplay of the game, explore corpse filled streets and dark cave systems or clean secret underground tunnels of the rituals aiming to grow the fog's influence. As you search for a way to stop the ongoing destruction, you're sure to stumble upon some of the deepest, darkest secrets of the island. Choose from an arsenal of devastating top of the line firearms, hand cannons, triple barrel shotguns, sounds good, triple barrel shotgun, as well as prototype weaponry from the great Nicole himself. Break just about anything, kick barrels of oil and set them on fire or just straight up give your boot to the enemies and watch them trigger traps. Presented gore and debris will help immerse you in the world as a rip, tear and explore your way to victory. So this game just recently been released. It got released on the 4th of October 2024. It's a single player game. The Gene is Action Role Player. Once again, the amazing publisher is Red Art Games. Check them out guys, Red Art Games. Supported language in English, French, German, Italian and Spanish. Okay, so developed, it's also also developed by Red Art Games. Uh, shout out to Pugware as well. Published and developed by Red Art Games. Available for the Nintendo Switch, uh, PlayStation consoles and Xbox consoles. Uh, today I am playing on the, uh, the, the Xbox. I play a lot on the Xbox lately. I'm playing on the PlayStation 5. Uh, once again, if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel. It's not necessary. It's not forced on. But if you want to say hi and how you doing, and basically saying thank you for streaming all these brand new games my gaming publishers are sending me. Uh, <clears throat> I really do appreciate it if you can just drop that follow or drop that subscription. It's free, F R W E. Takes about one second, one click of your time to do so. So as normal YouTubers say, if you like air, subscribe to my channel. And I do appreciate it. Thank you in advance. Let's check the volume up because it's a little bit quiet, this game. I find it a bit quiet. Okay, skin set dead zones, vibration is on. Back. Let's look at the briefing, eh? Yeah, but they know Akitio, third knight of the Alec Empire of Britannia, reporting for duty. Thank you for coming, Hito. I have a high priority of assignment for you. I am present only to give voice to Watham of the donation of the of this briefing. Thank you for coming, third knight. I will assist the queen in explaining the seriousness of the situation. First of all, we received rebel reports that Lillian, my niece, was seen in the Isle of Portland. I can't pronounce half these words, so you're just going to have to roll with me, guys. The Birialana Manor. <laughs> Correct. The very island where two years ago her father summoned, summoned the fog, leading to the Citadel incident in London a year ago. Has anyone ever seen the movie The Fog? It's a really good movie. Check it out. It appears that she decided to service in the same place she was last seen during the incident. Surely this is no coincidence. 
our thoughts exactly. However, this is not all. Several other reports to point to the Syrian's SOW activity on the island. Sons of Washington on the mainland? Disturbing indeed, the group of rebels have gained increasing popularity in the American colonies in the last two years, especially thanks to the Citadel incident. There is possibility that the Princess Lydia is cooperating with the SOW. If this is the case, the situation is far more serious. Two years ago, during the Berlinian Manor incident, <laughs> she was part of the ritual to call upon the fog. Therefore, she has possessed a lingering connection to it. Could she call upon the fog? Would the SOW risk that? Just a strike at the homeland? She won't be able to call down the fog, not without significant amount of sacrifice. The islanders are seriously risk. The local battalion of the island stopped reporting two days ago. However, sending a cementual force to Portland solely based on a handful of ports uh, might be taken as a sign of weakness, both by our citizens and the foreign enemies. This is exactly why we cannot move in large forces until we have more information, hence why I have made a decision to send you there to investigate. Your assignment is twofold. First of all, search the island to Incoronato and then confirm the SRA, SOW activity. Secondly, you are to locate Princess Lillian. If found, uh, you are to apprehend her and bring her back to her at all costs. There's a lot to read, guys. I do apologize. Now, if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, you feel free to mute me if you don't like my voice or fast forward. But don't forget to subscribe. We can assume that the fifth knight, Willis, 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 is also present. He was last seen with the princess, so be careful. His only assignment is the protection of the princess no matter the cost. I have access to the lit nature of the situation. Ever since the Berlinian incident two years ago, the island has suffered tremendously and the manor remains a source of terror. You are aware that the island sits upon something nobody outside the inner circle should learn about. Should the SOW try to call down the fog again, you are to uh, quish any attempts, no matter the consequences. Even if it contractates your direct directories, uh, so it's, uh, Suffice is to say, this will not appear anywhere in your report. So as long as the Empress wishes so. I'm reluctant to trust Wotham. Wotham. But this is correct. The Empire has suffered two significant blows in two, just two years. We cannot allow any further signs of weakness. Man, I'm stuffing these words up. I do apologise. As you wish, Your Highness. Okay, we got a trophy earned. A trophy for doing the briefing. Wow, there's a lot to read. New game, crate save. Okay, pure mode. Pure action, no living stats, no builds, and no grind. RPG mode, build your character using six different stats. Personalize your playstyle and grow your character's power. RPG mode sounds good. Um, normal mode. We'll do casual because I'm showcasing the game for Red Art Games. Um, and we don't want to die every five seconds, so... Yeah, I don't want to, I want to showcase the game, guys. 1899, July 16th, Isle of Portland. Red Art Games are the ones that sent me this game, so Jericho, check them out, buddy. They're um, amazing people. Mate, this looks like a pretty good game. I've never played this game before. So what you see is kind of what you get. Okay, so yeah, yeah, alright, oh, yoga kagis for cook assassin. Yagago snabu niki yaka niki yaku. We offer the vital of the infant to quench is the first. Answer us all the one. Interrupt the ritual by pressing R2. Ah, uh, it's the knight. Oh, it's a cape. Okay, so dash is L2. Fire is R2. Kick and switch gun. Begin the slaughter. Okay, just gotta practice. Nice dash. Okay, so now I get a bat. Oh, he's back where the hell did he come from? <laughs> oh, it's like a twin, twin stick shooter, isn't it, guys? That's what you're basically doing. Just get used to it. You've got to get used to the... Oh, there's heat. There's eyeballs. Did I find out of bullets? I think I did. Okay, yeah. Just got around circles because I thought. Let's collect these things as energy cells. 
Is that it? Well, that was intense for the first little battle we had. Sorry, I turned the chat off, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> turned the chat off now. For some reason, no idea why I did that. But anyone that, everyone that just joined just then, that was prior to me actually starting in. Prior. Like how I did that. I can like spat at the same time. Do apologize. It is Friday afternoon here in Australia and I'm stuffing up everything. <laughs> I'm trying to show this great game for Red Art Games and I'm making a fool of myself today. Do apologize. But I hope you guys love me anyway. Um, whisker? Whiskers? No, Whisker? Is it Whisker? Wesker. Wesker as Resident Evil. Sorry. If you know, it's, yeah, it's available to Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Today I'm playing on the PlayStation 5. So uh, it's also available for Steam as well. So no matter what you've got, if you've got something at least, um, you can buy, play this game. The contact is late. He should have been waiting for me here. He sounded nervous on the telephone. He's easy to the photographs of both Libya and the SOS soldiers. I can call their emperors and then they should deploy a full division here by tomorrow. It's snowing, but it's July. Huh? Well, it's the fifth night. Wait, it's huge. As the third night of the Olympic Empire of Britannia, and your superior, I order you to stand down immediately and follow me back to... A bit of muffled. I'm sorry. Oh, he shot me. Oh, he did something to me. Oh! That's what he does. He does that. And a good day to you too, lapdog. Princess Lillian. Huh? I was sure I hit your spine. Oh, well. Nicole's tool was as a tell were effective. It takes all the fun out of killing. It's got a massive sword. It's like Cloud from Final Fantasy. Uh, you, 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 you are to return to the capital at her. Gosh, even you're going whole to the back and you're still on your duty. So my auntie noticed our presence and decided to send a knight no less. No worries, it is too late. We are already called upon the fog and the beautiful snow was a sign that is embracing the island as we speak. Not to mention that all the SOW troops have now arrived. It's perfect. We'll have a wonderful time with the islanders. Um, no risks. We can't kill him. What if he is contacted with a snake or what I am? No, he needs to suffer here as long as possible. We need to prepare a great many more rituals. Da da! Stop goggling and debrief your situation. Keep your dignity intact and bleed out slowly for me, will you? So I'm still alive, Connor. If that is me, let's go with us. So I'm kind of like just choking on my own blood. One hour later, surely I'm surely I'm dead. But I'm the hero. So I can't really die, can I? Maybe the snow's gonna like freeze up my wound. Come on, get up, man. Kind of getting some... Oh, there's a mysterious figure. Elder gods, look at the state she left you in. Uh, uh, I'm still alive. Don't talk, I prefer you didn't bleed out here. I'm sorry I'm late, but the SOW mobilized, mobilized earlier than I expected. I had to dodge the roadblocks they set up. Where are my manners? I am. Just call me Mar Marigold. My. I told you, no need to talk. I know you may read off the whole title if you could. So let's just pretend you said Third Knight of the Allergic Empire of Britannia. <laughs> Despite my tardiness, I do have good news for you. Even consider my current predicament, the being brain in a jar. I can save your life. Not only that, but I can offer you a very special cake. Uh, uh, uh. That cape I am wearing is alive. It's a life form that leeches off its wearer. But currently, it can also stand for the organs and repair massive damage if it's fed to the vial. If I were to give you the cape to you, will you help me stop the princess and those SOW scum? After all, it was your original assignment, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, oh, world travels fast in these internable camps. So are you up to it? I'll give you this cape. So we heal you and you aid you on your assignment. Eyes. But of course, this cape will feed off your vial while you're aware it. It's a simulatic parasite. It's like uh, venom. It's kind of like venom, guys. It will be uh, very painful, but consider your circumstances. One more thing. You will need to take it, me with you. My mental body is running out of power, and I would like to assist you in your assignment. I want to see her arrested as much as you, my friend. Uh, ow. Just hold, just hold out your hand and agree to these terms, and our cape will do the rest. Ready? Accept? Well, we've got no choice, guys. We're accepting. Wonderful. Now, there's no denying that will hurt. Probably even more so than being, being, being shot. What if I said no? Would I just die and it'd be game over? <laughs> this is unbelievable. It healed me instantaneously. This cape is one of a kind. It's from South America, I believe. 
It's not very talkative, but it definitely has a mind of its own. So I'll try not to anger it. This feels abnormal. I can feel it moving under my skin. Yeah, it's definitely like venom, eh? Um, yeah, welcome to the stream, Brookie. I know it's hard to believe, but it's harmless. In fact, if it wants to keep you alive and fit, also that it can feast on the vital of your enemies. I must humble thank you, and thee. With a due respect, we do need to cut to the pleasantry short. It has been an hour since the fog was summoned, and both the princess and was have vanished. We must locate them as soon as possible. You mentioned an interrogated camp, but where they're held. Uh, that, that will have to wait. You should be at Easton. I know the locals have organised some sort of resistance in the past few days. We will most likely find them there. There is the biggest village on the island, but surely there's two of us to be holding there. You think it'd be so, you think so, but overheard the SOS guards saying they have lost a few of their own men. It is our best for now. It is not if we can leave the island and telephone lines don't work through the fog. All right, we head to the Eastern for now. But you have to exam uh, explain, you have a lot of explaining to do. First, we must make it out of the South Well alone. Five. Wow, it's a lot of reading. I'm getting all dry throated. All right, I'll keep you under my cape until we find a new metal body. Okay, finally, let's get into some action. Uh, the village of Southwell, uh, disrupt the ritual and escape Southwell. Okay, so we're just going to practice. Uh, do I have hand cannon, cleaver, hand cannon, cleaver? That's all we've got. I like the way the game looks, the uh, pixelated, pixel art graphics. Interact. All those houses seem abandoned. No signs of struggle. Did they evacuate before the SOW arrived? Oh, it's like a cowboy. There's some cowboy music on. Is he dead? I think he's dead. He dropped his gun just there. Can I pick the gun up? No, I can't. What was that say? Love it, guys. Interact. The dog tag reads for Shono. But he's dead now. Okay, so did we do this one? I think we did, yep. Yeah, as I said, I like the way the game looks. There are visualizations, pixel art graphics, 16 bit kind of style. I like it. Retro style. Good old retro. This guy's just sitting here taking it, mate. What's this? Oh, what's this? What's this here? I don't know what that is, but. The snow has undisturbed near all the houses. They clearly left its advantage. Okay, we have some ice here, but that looks like there's elder frost. Since the last year, the fog has gotten worse, and those blocks have showed up in the colder areas of the fog. Okay, so I can't get through there. Thank God, because there's two guys. We probably go up here, eh? No, we can't. Okay, so what's this here? Ammo can be found naturally, or recover from enemies who have not who were not executed. Who were not executed? So where do I go? Do I just blast my way through? Let's practice these blocks. Okay, no. No. Okay, so I can't get through the blocks. I can't really see a way through. I can't destroy it. The dog tag reads bread, 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 bread. I don't know, be and? B A and B and I don't know. I'm not going really well with my pronunciation or actually any English talking at the moment. <laughs> it is Friday afternoon. I haven't had anything to drink yet, which is kind of kind of unbelievable because you know what to say. Sorry. Recover health by executing enemies. Perform an execution. Kick a dying enemy. How do I kick again? Show controls. Kick is. That button. Okay, kick. They're all dead though. So when they kicks, when he's on the ground dying, is he dead? Maybe I can kick this stuff. Okay, guys, I'm kind of confused what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here. It's going to work, so those blocks are showing up. So, how do I get past them? I like how it leaves footprints in the snow, which is a nice little 
little added feature that, you know, if it wasn't there, no one would probably notice and wouldn't care about, but it being there, oh, okay, so I went up here before, it didn't work, but now that I've got up here again, it decided it wanted to work. Okay, kick a barrel to make it roll. The street lights are still working, that's odd. The fog usually disrupts electrical devices. Okay. Oh, we got an eyeball. Okay, he got me somehow. Okay, that dude over there shooting me, that's why. Oh! You dirty dog! Okay, health wise. Not going too good in my health wise, guys. He's dead too. Disrupt. Disrupt. What was that? <laughs> okay, my Siri HomePod's going off. I said something, it's triggered her off. Now she's saying it's nothing to stop. Your Highness. <laughs> I wish it did say something like that. What's that? A dog tag reads Providence. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, it died! Okay, so... Okay, so we just start again, do we? Yeah. Okay, that's not good. Should be another guy just up here, eh? Dead. Now let's get this block here. Okay, move to the next area. That's why it didn't work before I didn't click my button. I do apologize for that, guys. Oh, what the hell? I'm trying to be smart and kick in the barrel, and it's not really working. And this guy is just, oh, there's two of them. Oh, I died. Oh, well, I suck at this game, don't I? <laughs> when they shoot you, they shoot as fast as what you shoot them. So it's kind of hard to like, I wonder if I could sneak up. I dodge sometimes. Where is this guy? Let's just go up here. Straight to it, eh? Kill the eyeball first. He's dead. Now he's going to find this gunslinger guy. Oh, man. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, we're out of bullets. Okay, that's... Man, that worked pretty well. I should have been using that before. That works really well, but you can't get shot, so. Can I hold a hundred bullets? That's better, 60 now. Man, you go through them pretty quick. Oh. Especially with my aiming.
Okay, 46 bullets left. Sabotage, welcome to the stream. What was that? Kind of like flashed at me. Oh, we got these dealers up. Okay, so these guys have just got knives. Oh, there's more! Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, he shot me. Okay, so I, health-wise, it's shot. It's all my moves dead. And now I don't want to start all over this again. What's this over here? Okay, we've got another dog tag. Is there like green blood? Five bullets in the hand cannon. Kind of scared. What was this? Health? Where's health? Okay, that's the... I forgot about that part there. Where's... I need health. I thought this cape was supposed to give me health. <laughs> and it doesn't. It doesn't. Not to worry. We die, we die. Where are we going? Okay, we're back at this street again. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, collected something. It'll be... Okay, so... Actually, it looks like a dog, that one. Okay, so we still get the cleaver left. Oh, what's that? Something was kicking my ass then. Good game. I like this game. Not good at it, but I like it. Keep going this way, I think. When in doubt, don't change roots. What's this? This guy's... Oh! Okay, we're... he's got a shoddy. And he's after me. He is. Let's do the dash. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, so I couldn't get to the next arena for some reason. I've got to start all over again. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just go straight for the cleaver, right? Eh? Oh. What's that? Does that hurt me? No, that gives you health. Okay, so that's how I get health. I'm gonna put, give him a, like a fatality kind of thing. And then that. And then you click that, does it? It kind of looks like it kills you. But it doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna use my gun now because I've got that big giant eyeball coming in. It's gonna stop. Oh. That guy is kicking my ass. Yeah, I just got my ass given to me by that fella. Wasn't good. Was not good. Oh! Triple barrel shotgun, why did I miss the before? <laughs> oh, I can't believe I missed that before. Hey, block your path. Can't collect that for some reason. Okay, let's just let's use the barrel. Oh!
Okay, well, I'm not very good at this game, but I am enjoying it. That's the main thing. Let's just get used to the controllers. You just got to get used to those controllers, guys. The twin stick motion way. Apart from that, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty good. Stay tuned for Marble Lay's mini indie game review. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, he's just lighting me up. Okay, just my ass given to me. I'm gonna die again in a second here. Yep, died. Again, let's go. <laughs> it's kind of like a roguelike game, isn't it? They always give me the first shot. Eyeball definitely needs a gun. Oh. Okay. Kind of changes, doesn't it? I gotta remember to use the dash more. And not, um, I'm gonna sacrifice them to get my health. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, I still didn't sacrifice. That was kind of fun. I <laughs> quite enjoyed myself, man. Oops, sorry. Health-wise, completely shot. Again. Trying to get my health up there by sacrificing these fellas. Oh, still didn't sacrifice. There we go, give me health. Give me a little bit of health. Not much, but little. I really need more health. Okay. Let's just go this way. Let's just keep away from people at the moment. Bit of health. Okay, so these guys. Wow, I'm almost dead. I ran out of bullets from my shoddy. Got some more bullets back. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh I 
get back to the really very, very, very start. Ah, yes, let's go back. Don't look at anything else. No, there's no credits. Okay, there we go, guys. Red Art Games presents Scott Ford into the fray. Twin stick shooter, roguelike, intense action. like a, It's kind of like bullet hell, but it's fun. It's pixel art graphics, and I like the way it looks. Uh, it's, it's, it's retro style, throw, a throwback to yesteryear. It's in my book, so I like it. You're not, maybe not for everyone, but if you're into these type of games, this might be right up your alley. It's kind of like got that dark atmosphere, but foggy, snowy kind of atmosphere as well. Um, soundtrack in the background? Yeah, it's, it's decent. It's a decent soundtrack. It's good atmospheric sounds. I like the way that is. Uh, play today on the PlayStation 5. So no bugs, no glitches for a new release game. Always a good thing. Yes, there is a bit of a learning curve to it. Uh, it's going to take you some time to get used to and master the twin stick shooters, unless you've been playing these games for quite some time now. There's quite a few games out there like it. Um, but it's just getting used to and just, you know, I played today on, on easy. Imagine playing it on hard. Actually, was it easy? I think there's an easier mode than this. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. But it's a decent game. As I said, not for everyone, but it has got a bit of a learning curve to it. To mastering the controls. Once you've mastered them, you'll probably be really good at be able to dash and shoot at the same time. So you can dodge your attacks, gain your health. Don't you gotta, don't kill your enemies. You're going to sacrifice them by killing them and then gain your um your health by doing that. But on that note, on the Marble Lady Mini Indie Game Review, Scott Ford into the fray. I'm gonna give it a seven, a seven out of ten. Yeah, I reckon it's pretty decent. Just got released on the fourth of October, two thousand and twenty-four, for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation consoles, and Xbox consoles. Go pick it up, guys. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank everyone for calling past today's live stream on Twitch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. You mean the world to me. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. Once again, big shout out to Red Out Games for sending me this game to stream for my fabulous viewers out there. Without Red Out Games sending me the game, this stream would not be happening today. Uh, so once again, big shout out to Red Out Games. Uh, make sure you take care of yourself, the ones you love. Don't forget to feed your pets. Really, I'm stuffing my words up today, but it is Friday afternoon, so... I do apologise and bear with me, I am Australian. <laughs> Say hi to your dog for me. And my name's Marble Lay. Say hi to your dog for me. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye for now. Wow. I completely stuffed everything up. Thank you for watching, guys.